Good day, folks. It is an early morning. Explorer here, quarter to 10 in the morning, 20 degrees Celsius, and it is a gorgeous morning. And I'm heading to a spot that I've been at a couple other times, just sort of exploring around, looking around. And I always find the more I explore an area, the better chances I have of finding something. So I'm heading back again today to do another quick little search. And then I'm gonna head to a couple other spots that I have in mind. So I don't know if this video will be a digging video or just an exploring video, but time will tell. So we'll see you on the next clip. Okay, here's the first spot I'm at, folks. And uh, there's some old stuff here for sure. And the, just uh, on the surface right here now. So I'm just kind of scraping around and looking around. Check that out. If I'm not mistaken, that looks like that's off the top of an old... Uh, record player or whatever they call them gramophones and then right down here i see some other things these are old uh, it's an old buckler clasp off something and right here there's another little metal button and i think that's a great seal button there check it out very cool and then i just pulled up from down here another button look at that it's a big round one shank still on the back of it so there's some old stuff here for sure but most of this stuff looks like it's all from the like the 60s maybe the 50s look there's a little plastic fire truck right there wheels are gone off it ladder truck very cool so there's some interesting stuff here for sure i'm going to keep these buttons i got to put them in my pocket okay i'm still right here by this thing folks and right down in here where i got that other button i think i see a couple more here looks like they might be brass Here's another one. Still attached to the fabric. Not sure what kind of buttons they are. You hear some voices too. There might be some people coming along. I might have to get out of here. Yeah, okay, folks, I got like a jacket or something here. And all these brass buttons are on it. That's what they're coming off. More clothing underneath here. Old stuff. Look at that old shoe there. If I could have salvaged these. Nice decorative pattern on that. Even looks like there's horse hair inside. Whatever it was, it must have been a jacket. Very cool, very cool. Thumbs up! <laughs> okay, folks, I just want to show these buttons here real quick. And uh, I do believe that they're from, some of them, at least some of them are from a Husser jacket. I'm not 100% sure, but it seems like they are, possibly prior to 1900. I don't think there's Civil War, but they might be. Uh, furthermore, let's get into a little more info here. From what I can tell, there's at least three different button makers here. We have an HV Allian and Company uh, out of New York. Some of them are. And some of them are Jacob Reed Sons and Company from Philadelphia. And then there's a couple other ones here that say Made in England on them. I think it's these ones here. Yep, they just simply say Made in England on the back of them. And then... Uh, these ones here I soaked in CLR and uh, brush cleaned them. These two here I just cleaned with a brush. I didn't soak them. These ones here I haven't done anything to. And uh, a little further looking is this one here, which uh, it looks a little bit different than the others. It hasn't got any writing at all on the back of it, as you can see. 
and it does appear to be in a lot worse condition than the others as well. I don't know what that means, but uh, here you can see the writing on that one. That's the Jacob Reed Sons from Philadelphia. That is uh, the HB Allian from New York, I believe. Yeah. It's a little hard to see. But anyways, if anybody's got any uh, more valuable info on that or any other ideas about that being a Husser jacket, please feel, feel free to comment. Love to hear from you. And this is, of course, the great seal button, which I found also. And on the back of this one is uh, Newark, New Jersey something button company i can't as you can see it's all you wrote it there it's like two initials and then button company not sure what button company it is but there it is nice little brass button all right so let's get back uh on the site well folks we got another fantastic find Check it out. That there is a full set of teeth. Nice. Full plate. <laughs> Somebody said it's bad luck to take false teeth off the dig site. I don't know. Uh, might take them anyways. <laughs> Oh, oh, check it out. A little figurine, they got a parrot on their shoulder. Looks like a girl. Very cool. Oh, it's a salt shaker or a pepper shaker. It's a shaker of some sort. Very cool. I like that. Huh. All right, getting some interesting finds out of here. Well, this little cup just come out. Unfortunately, the handles broke off it. Would have been nice. We got something else right here. Look at that. I think it's porcelain. A little figurine. Japan. Japan on the back of it. Neat. Looks old. All right. There's some very interesting stuff coming out of here. I wasn't quite expecting that. Well, I thought there might be something here, but this stuff's quite interesting, actually. What's this? Part of a lantern, I'd say. Let's get you up quick. I got a bottle down here. It might be something. It might not be. I don't know. I'll get you up just in case. No, the screw top, but a different one. It's a Gilby's Gin, huh? Almost like a frosted glass. Might just be dirty though. Hard to tell. Different, anyways. Okay, I'm getting out of this spot, folks. Welcome back another time when I got more time. Right now, I got a pocket full of finds. Lots of buttons there. Lots of old buttons. Anyways, we'll get you up to the next spot. Well, I am finding just a pile of metal debris down in these woods here, folks. Check that out. Vehicle going by. Let's 
so far no bottle dump I mean there's the odd shard here and there but no large concentration my guess would be if I do find one it's going to be stellar there's no jug there bottom jug bottom all right, I'll keep looking around. Here's an interesting sight, folks. Check it out. Looks like a prop off an old windmill. Very cool. Galvanized. Not sure how big that would be. Probably 10 feet from one side up to the other. Very cool, very cool. Keep looking around. Okay, folks, still exploring around where all that metal was, but I'm further down the woods now. And uh, I've seen a couple pieces of glass on top of the surface right here. There's that one. And all I got, I don't have any digging implements with me, <laughs> but I did manage to uh, pick up this here metal rod along the way. And I'm right in a a depression in the ground here and it's full of glass I've just been kind of scraping around but you can hear when I shift that down in I mean it's just full of glass I scraped up a few things so far this here is a uh, perfect seal mason jar they usually have the date on the base of them uh, this one doesn't appear to though they're usually from the 30s and I can see this one does have a little bit of a aqua blue color to it so nice strong embossing on it too now the rest of the stuff here looks like it's from the 30s too possibly 40s but I'm not sure how deep this thing goes I'm gonna keep digging around there's a big old bucket there and I'll see if anything else comes out oh this here would have been neat too it's a screw top but it's a nice shape and a nice color so no telling what might be in there. Alright, so I just got you up real quick. I got at least one interesting thing in the hole here. Possibly two. First we'll pull this here. Probably just a big food jar, but you never know. And it's broke, but it was just a slicker anyways. But then I see this blue one down here. Let's pull that out. Alright. That's a corker. Beauty. All right. Is it blown? No, I would say it's... It's got an offset seam. It's an early machine made one. It's not embossed, but that is a beauty of a bottle. Right on. 1930s. What a keeper. Beauty. All right, stay persistent, stay persistent. I'm going to keep digging in here. Well, I'm looking for something better to dig with, folks. Debating whether or not to go back to the vehicle and get, get my uh, rake. Just uncovered this a little while poking around, looking for something. Buick. Looks like an old... Uh, Spare tire cover. Kind of interesting. Anyways, that there might be better to dig with than what I'm using. I'm going to keep looking though. I'll get you up if I find anything else. Well, still here in this little depression in the ground, folks. Dug up some barbed wire here. Now that I look, I think them it's running right along here. So that would kind of explain this as well. Right on the, uh, dumped right on the edge of a fence line. Here's a little amber corked off. I think it's just a Lysol, though. Yeah, it is. It's a Lysol. Be weak embossing on it, too, but you can see it there. All right. Probably won't keep that one. Well, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here in this depression, folks. It might be a privy now that I get thinking about it. Well, the center of it seems to be quite deep. It's full of bricks and bottles and 
everything else. Contents bottle. I may have to come back with a better digging implement. That thing just isn't cutting it. I wasn't prepared to be uh, digging purvies today. Shard off an old wine bottle. There's lots of glass here. What the heck is this? Anything on that? Uh, no. Lots of food jars. Broke though, that would have been nice. Ball. Okay, I got a little panel side down here, folks. It's stuck in the roots. It does feel like it's embossed. I'm just trying to take it out. I don't know if it's corked up. Where's the end of it? I guess it's up this way. The neck of it's up that way. Oh, it's a screw top. That's no, a, a screw top Pinex bottle. Huh. All right. Let's keep going. Okay, I'm going to pile all these food jars up along the edge of the hole here. In case I do come back, I won't have to pull them all back over the hole. I'm going to get out of here for now. Keep uh, looking around in the woods. Hopefully find another good patch. Something a little older. This here piece did come out, which, uh, as you can see, is much older. Base off a bottle. CS and Company Limited, the big X on it. Kind of a greenish colored pickle jar, probably. All right, get you up on the next spot, or next find. 